the book of Revelations 14, verse 14. And I looked and behold a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel coming out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, Thrust in thy sickle and reap, for the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my elders at Great Millstone who always rule well. And peace to the brothers in the four corners of the earth out there pushing this truth in sincerity. Yeah. Revelation, um, back to Revelation 14. And we're going to go down to 16. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. Yeah, see, it's time for America to, to reap everything that they sold. You know, I mean, these, these wicked Edomites, uh, first of all, you, 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 devile, you defile the father by setting up this false image. You see what I'm saying? Cesare Bogia, a straight up faggot to, 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 to fool the elite. You see what I'm saying? But hey, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is coming back on that cloud. We at Great Millstone, we, we know that, that Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and having faith that Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is coming back to save us all. Uh, this is the book of book of Ezekiel. Um, I'm going to start at chapter 9, uh, verse 11. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9. I'm going to start at verse 11. And behold, the man clothed within linen, which had the ink horn by his side, reported the matter, saying, I have done all thou hast commanded thee. Chapter 10, verse 1, Ezekiel. Then I looked and beheld... And the fragments that was above the head of the cherubims, there appeared over them as it were a sapphire stone, as, as the appearance of the likeness of a throne. And he spake unto the man clothed with linen and said, Go in between the wheels, even under the cherub, and fill thine hand with coals of fire from between the cherubims, and scatter them over the city. And he went in, in my sight. Come. Hey, like I said, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is coming back with, 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 uh, with his hosts, with his army, with his army of, 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 of heaven, which is which is the chariots of the most high, coming back to, to destroy this place, this, this wicked place. I'm talking about and destroy it with fire. Other than the nuclear missiles, Yahweh Shai and, 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 and the host of, of of heaven, which is his armies, going to take part in that. You know what I'm saying? Roasting you niggas. You see what I'm saying? You're going to sit up there and call for uh, uh, Jehovah. You're going to call all type of other gods. And he ain't going to know you. He's going to destroy you with one of them, them laser beams. You see what I'm saying? Hey, a, a, a way to cleanse, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, the, the major way to cleanse anything is with fire. So we got to cleanse up all this filth. Okay, I mean, and this this is this is a, a world filled of abominations. And, and we, as Hebrew Israelites, hey, we, we we have seen the Most High in, in, in them chariots. You know what I'm saying? But hey, the scripture also says ye have no remembrance of, of uh, reform of former things. So through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, setting up the elders, the elder apostles, you know what I'm saying, jogging our memories through this through this word, you know what I'm saying? Our memories have been, have been jogged. And, and hey, that's why we waiting on Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. I mean, they're just going to pop up one day. You see what I'm saying? Okay, we, we're going to go to the book of uh, Exodus 40 and 38. For the cloud of the Lord was upon the tabernacle by day, and fire was upon it by night, and in the sight of all the house of Israel throughout all their journeys. Come on. See, I mean, hey, we, we, we once seen Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shot in, in the ancient times, you know what I'm saying? But see, this time when he come back, Hey, it, it ain't, ain't going to just be the God of you know what I'm saying? It's going gonna to be to get revenge, you know what I'm saying, on, the, on, this, on this wicked devil. And to come to save the hopefully, hopefully elect, pray that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah 
uh, allow me to be part of part of the hopefully elect. I'm gonna go to um, the book of Exodus uh, 14, and I'm gonna start at um, I'm gonna start at 24. You know what I'm saying? Um, Exodus 14 and 24. And it came to pass that in the morning watch, the Lord looked upon the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptians and took off their chariot wheels that they drave them heavy so that the Egyptians said, let us flee from the face of for Salakim, let us free from the face of Israel and from Salakim. For the Lord uh, uh, fighteth for them against the Egyptians. I'm going to read it again. This is Exodus 14 and 24. And it came to pass that in the morning watch the Lord look, looked upon the, host of, uh, upon the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud and troubled and troubled the host of the Egyptians and took off their chariot wheels that they drave them heavy so that the Egyptians said let us flee from the face of Israel for the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians come it's going to be the same it's going to be the same scenario and, and hey our enemies well I have seen them in that instance was the Egyptians which hey we are in 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 uh Spiritually, Egypt now we in bondage now, right here, right here in in, in Babylon, okay. And, and and what did the scripture say? He troubled and troubled the host of of, of the Egyptians. Yeah, I mean, he, hey, he he hey, he got at them, and we all know the story about what happened. In this modern time, uh, uh, I seen this video uh, that I wanted to pull out to give you a prime example of of, of what he gonna do to our enemies. Let me pull this up real quick. On YouTube, and this and this this just this just an instance where he gonna do. Just an example of, of, of what your how about shimmy how shy gonna do in this day, okay? Uh, hey man, us in this thing, like Elder Gabar said, uh, 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 in this thing of ours, that's our great hope. It takes hope, it take it takes faith to have faith, you know what I'm saying? That your how about shimmy how shy, you know what I'm saying, gonna come back and save us in 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 in, in, in the host of uh, uh, in, in his host, which is which is his army, which is his army, so like it. Hey, and um, you know, so I just wanna bring that out real quick. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna end it off with this scripture right here, uh, Ezekiel um, ten and um, uh, ten, ten and ten. Hey, this this is the Most High, man. It's right here in the scripture, man. You know what I'm saying? It's right here. It said, and as for their appearance, they had four. Had one likeness, and as if a wheel had been in the midst of a wheel. Hey, that's self-explanatory to the ones that's in the know. That the ones that's having faith that you how about Shimmy how shy is coming back to save us. And with that, you know, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my elders at Great Millstone who always rule well. And peace to you brothers out here. Is pushing this truth and, and sincerity, man. And you know, hey, death to America. You know what I'm saying? So I want.